meet the starters for the fourth race. An elimination of the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes for three-year-old trotting fillies. Win, place, exact, a trifecta wagering. Number one, Cocktail Peanuts, owned by Bill and Marta Alanya of Seymour, trained and driven by Bill Alanya. Number two, Raina Bella, owned by Bill and Craig Wright of Morton, by Dirk Simpson of Sherman, trained by Dirk Simpson. Tony Morgan is up. Number three, Our Duena, owned by Kathy Vaughn of Monee, by BFS Racing and LGN Stables, trained by Kathy Vaughn. Sam Widger in the bike. Number four, Go Abby Joe, is owned by Thomas Parker of Muhammad, trained and driven by Newton's John David Finn. Number five, the key to winning, is owned and trained by Jay DeLong of Clinton, Wisconsin. The driver is Tom Bussey. Number six, Miss Henry, owned by Riley and Ryan Welch of Belvedere, by Michael Shan of Chicago, trained by Roger Welch, Ken Holliday in the bike. Number seven, Smokey Bear, is owned by Robert and Michael Silberberg of Farmington Hills, Michigan, by Jim Eaton of Crete, trained by Eaton, the driver Dave McGee. Number eight is Fox Valley Diva, owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Number nine, Never Flirtatious, owned by Thomas Mullins of Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, by Joseph Mullins of Walnut Creek, California. Trained by Joseph Mullins, Jim Curran will drive. And number 10, La Buena, owned by Homer Hochstetler of Crete, by Bruce and Dean Alexander of Westfield, Wisconsin, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Four minutes to post. The key to winning, off stride, They're off and trotting, never flirtatious for the early lead. Miss Henri is there, Smokey Bear in between those two. Then Raina Bella back toward the inside, followed by Go Abby Joe. Fox Valley Diva tries to get toward the rail, already eight lengths off the lead. Miss Henri gets to the top by a length and a half around the first turn. Smokey Bear will go second, two more lengths to never flirtatious in third. Gap of three to Raina Bella fourth. Go Abby Joe is fifth. Fox Valley Diva is sixth and racing nearly a dozen lengths off the lead. 27 and four for the opening quarter. Three more lengths to Cocktail Peanuts, La Buena, and Our Duena is next to last. A long way back, the key to winning trails. Opening quarter in 27 and four. Miss Henri leads it by a length and a half. And Smokey Bear goes second by two. Never Flirtatious third by two. Then Raina Bella, Go Abby Joe, Fox Valley Diva. Andy Miller checks over his right shoulder to keep an eye on our Duena. And that's going to bring Fox Valley Diva off the rail. Seven lengths off the lead because our Duena is on the charge behind her. 58 and two off the half mile mark. Miss Henry leads by a length and a half to Smokey Bear. Fox Valley Diva moves up around Never Flirtatious. Our Duena right behind her as they move up around the outside of Reina Bella, midway on the turn. La Buena is in the outer flow, six lengths off the lead. Go Abby Joe next, inside of Cocktail Peanuts. The key to winning is far, far back. They're at the three quarters. Miss Henry leads at a half length. Fox Valley Diva draws alongside. Three quarters and 129 and two. Fox Valley Diva is trotting on for the lead by a neck off the final turn. Miss Henry is second by three. Smokey Bear is third. Never Flirtatious fourth. Howard Duena is still in fifth. Turning for home, Fox Valley Diva leads it by three lengths to Miss Henri in second. Smokey Bear than our Duena. Fox Valley Diva, the odds-on favorite, cruises on home to win it. Fox Valley Diva wins it by five. Miss Henri was home second. Smokey Bear was third in 156 and four. Turning is the unofficial winner of today's fourth race, owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale, trained by Irvin Miller, driven by Andy Miller, number eight, Fox Valley Diva. This filly now the official winner in 156 and four. She's by Armbro Charger, owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale, trained by Irv Miller. Fox Valley Standard Breads bred this filly. By the way, folks, if you want to keep up with Chicago Harness Racing, you can do it online, www.balmoralpark.com or www.maywoodpark.com. And here's a man who knows both those tracks very well, Andy Fox Valley Diva. Does this filly ever make a mistake? Only one loss. Uh, she, a couple rigging changes, she lost that one race. But uh, since we've changed a few things, uh, Irv's done a heck of a job with her, and she's just awesome now. Teaming up with your brother, Urban Miller, for the victory. Is he a tough guy to drive horses for? 
Yeah, real tough. <laughs> we knew it. Andy Miller, he's our winning driver, folks. Congratulations.